2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terragrigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. John Parker. Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of Let's <laughs> Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. For I'm sorry you missed the first part of the cutscene. All they said is just that. Uh, I don't need to read that. Uh, all they said was that um, uh, Terragrigio was like oh, made a long time ago when it runs on solar power, and then the rest of it is cut. So we found some metal. I'm getting something. I'm in so right here we don't have the infinite launchers, so I'm actually gonna have to shoot them more than one time. Sad as it is. Okay. So all you wanna do is just scan all these. And we're gonna have a handprint coming up that we can actually scan now. There is a bit of ammo scattered around, but we'll go ahead and investigate this. Careful now. Don't worry, I've done this before. Got something. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. All right, so we found that. And, um, in case you're wondering, these guys are called Globsters. Kind of a funny name, but, you know, that's what they are. We'll go ahead and scan these. Pretty easy level. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving us a gun. I mean, oh goodness, it moved. 
It moved! Careful. Thank you, Captain Obvious. God only knows what strain of virus we're dealing with. I kind of figured that. Don't worry, we're on it. You're gonna want to shoot it while its mouth is open because it'll do more damage. And it's dead. And we still have ammo. Sorry, I'm gonna have to show the bottom screen on my on the top. Occasionally, because um, I can't really see the bottom screen with the camera obstructing it. So. All right, so our first handprint of the game is going to be coming up. Oosh. Ugh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. There's one down here in the water. Scan that one. More handgun ammo. All right, your first handprint is going to be right there. I've already gotten it, but it'll be right there. So, easy peasy. Just go ahead and scan it. I suppose we'll investigate this. Looks like somebody has already raided the place. Yes, it has. I've collected enough and you'll see this yellow dot in the bottom right. That means there's something nearby that you can scan. In case you didn't know that. So we got that. I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out our gun. For no reason. Cough, cough. Maybe foreshadowing a little bit. Nah. Nah, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. No MG barbecue. More of them? Hurry up and neutralize them. Thanks for your help. Do us a favor, guy. Thank you. That was fun. A lovely day at the beach. Stab your director. That's how you get. That's how you get promoted. Just stab him in the heart a bunch of times, and you'll be good. Nice work. No doubt about it. These corpses show signs of viral infection. Aren't you Captain Obvious today, Mr. Till? Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Trying to rotate so I can get rid of that little glare on the Your bottom right corner. Lost over the ocean. Thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be on a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. The remains of Terra Tracia. Dun 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 dun. Save complete. So that was the chapter, or the episode, I believe. Which is good. This is good stuff. Point. Got 100% accuracy, zero deaths, and a clear time. So. Already. 
All right. Um, before we move on, was that the rock? I'll check it out. Let's go back and get the okay. handprints. I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. So we're gonna get the handprints and then we'll end the episode because it's about ten minutes and I don't want to make them too long. So it'll be right there on the vending machine. And our other one will be back here. This place is really creepy if you walk slowly and quietly. Not really. Um, I think Resident Evil 4 still takes the cake for creepiest area in a Resident Evil game because of the regenerators. So we have to go back through the door, through the door. No, 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 no. So it's right there. Ta-da! Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.